Yeah, this one is like it's Olivia's favorite. Yeah. This is Livy's Die Hard. This is like Livy wants me to sing it at her funeral. Wedding. Okay. Her funeral, but <laughs> <laughs> definitely probably <laughs> for her wedding. <laughs> Sante August is the last song on the record and it was kind of it's kind of a bonus track because when I was putting this project together I had already released I'll be going so I knew I had that one in my bag and then I was recording two more with Lucas and two more with Philip and when I was looking at the five songs as a whole it just felt kind of like you know incomplete and I wanted to really add this one more song to it which was Sante August and so Philip worked with me and helped we record it um, kind of at the tail end of this whole recording process and what we ended up doing was um, making a, a live recording of it. The song itself uh, is actually pretty old. I wrote it almost exactly four years ago now um, and I can really I have really vivid memories of writing this song and the inspiration that uh, created it you know and so it's a really old tune and um, I have a buddy named Austin Sawyer, and we have a duo together called Sawyer and Kimes. And we uh, mainly write a lot of our own stuff together um, in kind of duet form, and, and everything that we really play together is stuff that we kind of created together. But we have pulled a few of our own original tunes into the mix, and I can remember sitting with him. We were in this cabin out in uh, West Tennessee, and I was just jamming out. We were, you know, a little group of friends. And I played that song kind of for, I was hanging out with another friend and I played it for him and Austin was over, you know, kind of in that corner doing his own thing. And I remember he turned around, he was like, I've never heard you play that song before. And, uh, and I said, oh, well, it's really old, I don't really play it much. And he goes, we need to, we need to do that song as a duo. We need to perform that song. We're bringing it back. And so I just kind of rolled with that. And we've now turned it into a Sawyer and Kimes song. Um, so obviously when I wanted to record it for my uh, EP, I had to have Austin on it. So I invited him to join us for this live recording. And then I asked one of my favorite bass players, PJ, who played on um, Time and Don't Blame Me, to come back and do uh, a live recording. So it was just the three of us, and we just kind of stood on this mic in the studio on campus. And I think we maybe took maybe four takes of it. Um, and we ended up just going with our favorite one. Um, there was a, I mean, we had a couple great takes, and so we really just had to listen back and decide which one we liked best. And uh, so it's really just kind of a raw recording of, um, you know, this really tender love song. And that's that's really what Sante August is. It's about um, seeing someone or meeting someone and just being totally, completely swept away, you know, and just not knowing what to do about it. Um, and just saying that to this person and, and laying it all out there. And it's really, um, it's, it's much more of a poem, you know, compared to my other songs. It's, it's less a, a song structured in a traditional way, and it's more just a love poem. Take me back to August when my heart felt so much younger since the tenth of every month hangs in the air like pending thunder. I'm reminded of your eyes and how they said 